Hey everyone, TCR Outdoors here. Uh, as you can see, we're just out, finally got some fishing in. Uh, basically what we're doing today is we're out on a kind of a underground or a underwater hump out here. And we're just jigging for walleye. He's got a jig on with a, he's got a worm on that. And I'm just fishing with a slip bobber and a leech just out behind the boat. Pretty effective way to, to fish this time of year. The walleye are typically gone a little bit deeper. Uh, we're fishing in anywhere from 15 to 26 feet, I'd say. And just following kind of classic walleye structure. So uh, yeah, we just got the lines dropped here now. And uh, we'll see if we can tie into one. Hey guys, I just want to do a little segment on what I'm using for electronics here. So on this boat, I run a Helix 5 G2, which is pretty, it's a pretty basic unit. Really nothing special. I'm actually in the process of upgrading here probably next, next summer, next spring sometime. But basically what we're doing is we're on this, or right now we're anchored on the flat, but I've been casting my slip bobber off the edge. So typical, just kind of hard bottom. You can see it's got this hard kind of red line. That's just a stronger signal than this basic yellow we see here. So my hook's over there. So you wouldn't actually be able to see it on the screen. But my settings, I usually run a kind of a mid-level sensitivity setting of usually 11 to 20, basically, depending on what, what the water conditions are like and if I've got bait floating around and whatnot. Uh, contrast on the lower end of 18-ish. Um, you can set your automatic range here, whatever you want. I usually do a, a lower range of about 25. Typically, I'm not fishing any deeper than that. And then uh, I always do my chart speed to ultra when I'm jigging. It just helps speed up the, the, uh, the sonar underneath the boat. And then for sonar colors, I just run it on one. Basically, you can do whatever kind of suits you. Um, yeah, as far as other different things, I don't really do too much different settings. Keep it all fairly, fairly basic. Sometimes you can change your 2D frequency to uh, 83, 200. Um, surface clutter, I usually keep in the middle, about five-ish. Seems to work pretty well. Fish ID usually off, I just watch for marks. Uh, fish ID sensitivity, five. Um, structure ID on the bottom view. I like that because it shows me that red line at the bottom. It's usually helpful. But yeah, anyway, that's those are some of the settings I run on my unit. You can kind of change it to whatever suits you. But still waiting on some fish here. So uh, this is my trusty co-pilot. Now there, he's the he's the R and TCR outdoors. Oh. We'll keep updating you guys if we if we get any more luck here. Well, the walling didn't go so well. We're gonna move on to some pike and use this uh, cyclops spoon here, a little blue red eye and a little silver. And yeah. And I'm gonna try uh use a just a, about a three inch rattling shatter up crankbait and we're gonna be trolling. Uh, well, I didn't go very well this morning, so uh, we're gonna move a little shallower, probably about 12 to 15 feet, and uh, we're gonna hit some, hit some pike, hopefully. Well, finally hooked up. Just trolling cranks along here in like 12 feet of water. Feels like a decent fish. I'm guessing it's probably a pike, judging from the way it's pulling. Guess we'll find out. Well, I just want to grab that net. Just, yeah, keep videoing. Just pull to your side of the boat there. I can't, I might need to let go of this. 
There he is. Oh, is that a Y? Is it? Looks like it. Here, a second. You can keep it on. Oh, I snagged him. <laughs> oh, you did, yeah. Oh, look at. Oh, it's oh. a white fish. Oh. Check that out. I don't want oh. that hook to come out. Yeah, it's okay. I'll just grab him. You want me? Yeah. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Who would have thought? Snag one. Snag a white fish. Wow. Eh? Haven't done that before. Here, I'll grab that. Get that hook out of him so it doesn't really hurt him. Hooked up. Nice. Got it? Yeah. Hooked up. Oh, I lost him. Hooked up again, guys. Another little one. Oh, yep, he's still there. Oh, little guy. <laughs> Yeah, this is about as small as they come. Let me see if I can grab him here. Yep, about as big as my hand. And he inhaled that thing. Flyers here. Hey guys, we're back again. Uh, no surprise here, we're trying something new again. Uh, we moved to the northern end of this lake. Usually it's a little bit better for pike and big pike typically. So we're gonna try it out for a little while. We're pulling, I'm pulling a big old, I think it's a Williams Wobbler big chrome gold kind of spoon. And uh, what, do you, what do you have on there? Blue rattling wrap with silver sides. Yeah, so on a sunny day like this, we find that the pike get triggered by shiny colors. They seem to like it. And if, if it's a cloudier day, usually brighter colors seem to work pretty well, we found anyway. So uh, yeah, we'll see. No bites yet, but we just got going. And uh, yeah, we'll figure out what's gonna go on. Well guys, uh, Someone spilled the worms, as you can see there. But we're actually doing pretty good. Caught another little eater, and we're just jigging along. I'm just fishing with a white jig head and a leech. And I think he's got a green jig head and a worm on, I think. So, let's see if I can get you guys in on some action here. Not really much going on right now. But we're fishing. Oh, there we go. This is the jackeries. Yeah. Little jack. No. Crushed it though. So we got another eater, 17 or 18 incher, as you can see there, sitting belly up in the live well, along with another little one. So we're still sitting along, jigging away. Reese just lost one here a couple seconds ago, and they're still marking some under the boat. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens here.
what I'm basically doing here is I've got a leech on my white jig head. Uh, no tail on it or anything. Um, I thought about throwing a bobber out, but it just, nah, didn't really feel like setting it up. So basically all I'm doing is just leaving it here and sitting there and the leech is swimming around. Not much to it. Oh, Tommy, you got one. Okay, well, guys, we just got fish there now, so, and I'm getting a bite on the slip bobber. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. But uh, Reese just got a beauty walleye. Really nice walleye. Yeah, maybe. I'll just take a picture. Take a picture after. Well, guys, we got four fish in here now. Normally, I'm not really one for keeping fish, but we got a pretty good, pretty good haul, and we're gonna have a good lunch, good supper tonight, I guess. So, pretty pumped. So I think if Reese is that about, about your biggest walleye? Definitely one of the biggest walleye I caught around. It's good. It was a nice fish. So Reese, what were you doing when you caught that big one? I put on a bobber and double check if there's a fish on, pull up, felt some weight, and dropped everything and set the hook. <laughs> and the rest is history. Did you see that fish moving on the camera there? Yeah, I did. Well, when he bit, I saw him. Like, it was cool. I wonder if you got it on camera. Ah, uh, no, I didn't have my camera on, I don't think. What did it do? What do you mean? What did it do on there? Oh, I just saw it, like a big mark come up. It was cool. Very cool. Well guys, we're just sitting here doing some more jigging. We've been catching lots of little ones. But only the, well, only two that are over 15 inches. It's kind of slow in that department, but catching lots anyway. It's good. Well, guys, it's about seven o'clock at night now. Uh, we've been out. Since like 7 this morning, I think, or 6.30 this morning. So we pretty, put a pretty good day in. Uh, we're back at the dock now, finally. Oh, caught some decent walleye. Uh, pike are a little slow today, so couldn't really show you too much about them. But yeah, I think we'll have a pretty good video put together for you guys. Uh, yeah, I think this the biggest walleye we caught. It was about, we'll measure it here for you. Normally I don't really keep fish this size, but we are trying to feed, bake a big meal tonight, so we'll measure them for you. I also don't really like this measuring board on my boat. Okay, there we go. So, got about a 23 incher. So, yeah, it's kind of on the very big side I'd want to keep ever. I usually try to keep stuff that's less than about 19, but we really have to feed a family tonight, so that's the only, the only time I'll keep big fish like this. But uh, I'm guessing it's about a, I don't know, four or five pound walleye. Pretty nice fish. Unfortunately, it was Reese's fish, not mine. But yeah, pretty nice fish. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Uh, please like and subscribe to us. And uh, yeah, that's really all she wrote from TCR Outdoors. Take care.